Let's uh, also look at uh, another problem that seems to be emerging um, under your uh, presidency. You've only been in power nine months, but this problem in the southeast of the country, uh, we're seeing the Indigenous Peoples Organization of, of Biafra, IPOB, they are protesting peacefully for the most part uh, on a regular basis. And there has been video, I could show you some video that's been posted of a very... No, thank you. These are the images the president didn't want to see. They're on the internet and we can't verify exactly what they show, but it appears as though security forces were shooting at unarmed protesters in the southeastern state of Abia. This is footage I can't personally verify, but it looks as though the security forces have gone in very heavy-handedly shooting and there were reported to be seven deaths. I'm wondering, how are you planning to deal with this issue of Biafra? You, of course, have first-hand experience. Put a 30-month civil war, at least two million Nigerians were killed. And for somebody to wake up, maybe he wasn't born when there was a fight in Biafra and said he wants Biafra again. We have multi-party democracy system now. Let them organize themselves and uh, vote for, uh, uh, to have a state within a state. But, but to, to, to try and interfere with movement of troops, with economy, uh, looking for Biafra, after losing two million people, I think they are joking with Nigerian security and Nigeria will not tolerate it. Why don't you invite them for talks? Why should we invite them? For the most part, they appear to be young people, as you say, with no recollection yeah, they didn't know what of they, what the war, happened. the 1967-70 war. But these are disaffected young men for the most part, but young women as well, mm -hmm. who are protesting, it would appear, against their reduced economic opportunities. Uh, government allocations to state uh, governments in that region have been reduced by something like 50%. These people How much jobs. was oil costing? For the last 16 years, it was costing from over $140 uh, per barrel, now to sometimes under 30 so the system of allocation has to correspondingly be reduced. So why shouldn't it affect them if it's affecting the whole of Nigeria? For why do we get the money to give them? Okay, Mr. President, I think that time is up and I need to thank you very much indeed for taking the time to speak thank to me much, and uh, for speaking to Al Jazeera. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.